Hey YouTube, I wanted to make a quick video of my Black & Decker Mini Mower, um, that I built. Um, yeah. So, it took a long time, and a couple of prototypes, but I finally finished it. And, uh, I just, literally just added that mulching piece, like, five minutes ago. Not mulching, but a deflector, so it doesn't get my feet as dirty. But yeah, I put those bolts on yesterday, and I finally bolted on the slicer. That is the third string slicer. I lost two of them, because they weren't bolted on properly. Yeah, let's give it a whirl. The width is not that great. It was really rainy, so a little grass is clumpy. I've been dying to use this thing. Here we go. One-handed. i got the wheels set up, so they don't cave in. Here we go. a lot of designing. And just a little bit of patience. And yeah, it works great. And um, some people would think, well, why wouldn't you just use the regular trimmer to cut ditches? Well, if you use a regular trimmer to cut ditches, it doesn't look so great. But if you use a lawnmower with a level deck, all the wheels are the same height, you know, that's a regular trimmer. Can't see that very well. I said I was actually trying to cut my neighbor. Went at it instead. And this is built for brush. You can tell it's built for brush because there's no front end. So it can take large ampules of weeds like that. Fret them down. That's what I've really been working on right there. Um. Yeah, but right now it's, it's really an awesome little lawnmower. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but it was a nice build. I can kinda just stroll around with it when I don't wanna drag out the big lawnmower. It can't be a trimmer anymore, that's cool. And it's really good for under this tree, because uh, it hurts to go under this tree, really. Uh, see, I've already done a little bit. differential oh and I uh yeah part of another update I did to it as I took off the wheels they're not held the wheels aren't held on with hot glue anymore held on with eclipse you can't see there eclipse are pretty hidden but um yeah I uh, carved off some of it it was just straight plastic but I carved it off so it could glide around on grass easier it is just one height and that's fine it's a decent height Cuts the grass pretty well, you can't really tell. <laughs>
just like vacuuming. Coming down here. Tall grass. The old prototype was better at cutting ditches. That's fine. Still work. Something's caught on it. Oh, it's not slicing. There we go. Cucumbers, 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 tomatoes. Um, yeah, I'm waiting for the surprise to cut my grass again uh, for you guys. It's cool. I think some of you will like it. And I know, I know one person won't. Yeah, I'm just gonna tell you guys. I know Dax Marshall won't let, like uh, the new, the new thing I'm getting. So uh, you'll see. Trust me. Um, that's it. Really, that's awesome that I built this with an old uh, tub, some parts from Home Depot, and some parts out of my shed. Oh, that was two vacuum cleaners that I ruined for these that I don't use. They're just sitting in the sedge shed. And they were uh, single axle. They didn't have long axles, which was nice. But thanks for watching, YouTube, and I'll see you next time.